Title, Instacart's Successful IPO Masks Potential Risks for Investors Due to Low Floats In a continuation of the recent trend among new offerings, MapleBear, the parent company of Instacart, made an impressive debut on the public trading floor. However, financial experts caution that the strong initial performance does not guarantee sustained success in the future. The low float of Instacart's shares may complicate matters down the line, potentially posing risks for investors. On the day of its initial public offering, IPO, Instacart witnessed a surge in investor interest, leading to a robust opening day performance. This is in line with the prevailing trend where new offerings are met with significant enthusiasm from the market. However, industry experts are warning investors against assuming that such strong performance will be sustained over time. With a low float, Instacart's shares are relatively scarce in the market, making them susceptible to price volatility. The float represents the number of shares available for public trading. In Instacart's case, only 79% of the company's total shares were offered to the public. The remaining shares are held by insiders, such as company executives, employees, and early investors. This limited availability can lead to price manipulation and exacerbate price swings, which may not be reflective of the company's actual value or performance. The potential risks associated with a low float are twofold. Firstly, it can create a situation where a relatively small number of buyers and sellers hold a disproportionate amount of control over the stock's price. This can enable market manipulation by these entities, making it challenging for regular investors to accurately determine the stock's true value. Secondly, the relatively limited number of shares available for trading makes it difficult for investors to establish and maintain a desired position in the stock. A sudden influx of buy or sell orders can result in substantial price fluctuations, potentially working against investors' interests. Market analysts argue that while a low float can lead to short-term gains due to heightened demand for a limited supply, it can also contribute to greater risks and uncertainties in the long run. This highlights the importance of conducting thorough due diligence and carefully considering the implications of investing in companies with low floats. Despite its promising initial performance, Instacart may face challenges as time goes on mainly due to its low float. Investor confidence in the company's long-term prospects will largely depend on its ability to navigate the potential risks associated with a scarcity of shares in the public market. Overall, it is crucial for investors to remain vigilant and make informed decisions when considering investment opportunities with low floats.